Representative Jackson Lee is a member of the House Homeland Security Committee. A Republican will join us shortly for the same amount of time. Representative Jackson Lee, what do you make of all of this that has just gone down? Well, I, what I make of it is that what we're trying to bring about is peace. Peace is not a pretty picture when you have to put it together by so many disparate positions and leaders. The other thing that I would offer is that we should not uh, ever step away from the fact that 1,400 persons, conspicuously and obviously, were tragically gassed, uh, many of them children, and it was a vile and violent scene. And so Syria's resolution is more difficult than it might seem. And I think that where we try to give credit or try to suggest that Russia now has the only answer, we make a mistake. This has to be solved by the international family. And what the president was doing, as he expressed from his heart, is to respond to the tragedy and the heinousness of gassing children and using chemical weapons uh, that went beyond the international convention of using chemical weapons in any conflict whatsoever. Correct. Syria and I want to ask that. you specifically, Mrs. Jackson Lee, what it is you believe the illegal action under international law of dropping United States missiles into the middle of a civil war in the Middle East would accomplish. Our own leaders have told us they do not believe this would accomplish the stopping of the slaughter of the Syrian people. They do not believe it would stop President Assad from using his chemical weapons in the future. So why would we do it and why would you vote for it? Well, Shepard, thank you very much. It's a very complex question and I never said I would vote for it. I said I was open and listening to all of the information and that's what I'm doing. I've been in meetings uh, today, yesterday, we'll have them tomorrow, continue to be in classified meetings. But what I am willing to say is to interpret what I perceive the president's uh, effort and response is, uh, and that is that the United States and the world community make a statement about the heinousness of using chemical weapons and, as the military has uh, discussed in the public domain, using uh, a strike that would degrade and deter. Those are words that, are, uh, that, are, that have been utilized in the international arena, but more importantly, uh, military terms. My view is this, that a single uh, effort at striking is not uh, the complete effort. It has to be a diplomatic approach. It has to be approach toward peace. What you see now is a recognition that maybe someone else, another country, can contribute. My issue with Russia uh, is that let it be a world contribution because Russia knows that it has rejected three different times, four different times, uh, resolutions before the United Nations Security Council to condemn this violence where we might have had an effort in stopping the heinous killing of 100,000 people. And now so Russia now steps Russia, up to Russia be peacemaker? Do you now, buy it? Uh, no. What I'm saying is now Russia steps up with an idea that had been presented over two years ago by this administration. I'm not going to throw stones, but what I am going to say is I'm going to be a very skeptical critic about Russia's commitment. If they have a plan, let's review it. And ultimately, I hope the United Nations will set their meeting again. And I hope the president, along with France and Great Britain, leaders will have the opportunity to vet this proposal because it's not just about the chemical weapons. It's about bringing a resolution to the heinous killing of Assad's own people. Syrian Americans in America want us to understand that their loved ones are being killed. So I want peace. I'm ready to look at diplomacy. I've not closed the door on the idea of a strike, but I'm not giving a yes vote because I believe I have the responsibility to my constituents to look carefully at all of the evidence. Sounds to me like you're watching those polls. Evidence. Pardon me? Sounds to me like you're watching those polls and you realize uh, nobody's I, for this I'm, matter. I'm watching, I'm watching my constituents and I'm watching the debate and I'm watching the president's leadership and I'm watching the international community uh, and I'm listening to the Mideast. And clearly, a representative would not be a representative if they were not listening to their constituents. But I have spoken to my constituents over the times that I've been at home, and I have given them the lay of the land in both sides of the issue. I've told them both sides of the position for them to be able to digest. I've encouraged them to listen to as much as they could and to be engaged in this de debate because, in fact, the American people will be impacted. Shepard, if it was not for the ridiculousness of the Iraq war, except for the bravery of our men and women, many of them who lost their lives, Americans would not have lost the trust that they should have when leaders asked of the country to go to war. But Iraq laid out, unfortunately, a large sore and wound in the American psyche. And that's why there's so much questioning, and I welcome that. Uh, but I believe that we should look at both the peace element, the tragedy of what happened, 
and we should give this uh, suggestion that is really a modification of what we offered two or three years ago. Fine, Russia has offered it, but they must allow vetting, they must allow uh, accountability, and they must allow uh, the detail of whether or not it has actually transpired. But more importantly, Russia can't tell us how to run our foreign policy, yeah. and they can't dictate to, uh, to the president whether uh, he should pull off the table or not. I'm out the of president time, does Representative that Jackson and not Lee. Russia. I cannot thank you enough for being here. We thank appreciate you for it. Having me. From the Democratic side, Matt Thorne.